and welcome my dear friends to another episode of the journey through apostolic succession. CCC 880 says, when Christ instituted the twelve, he constituted them in the form of a college or permanent assembly, at the head of which he placed Peter, chosen from among them. Just as by the Lord's institution, St. Peter and the rest of the apostles constitute a single apostolic college, so in like fashion, the Roman pontiff, Peter's successor, and the bishops, the successors of the apostles, are related with and united to one another. This explains why we should come closer to the Holy Catholic Church. Today we hear about our 118th Pope, that is Pope Leo V. He served in a church that lay outside the city of Rome at the time of his election to be the head of the Western Christendom. It was unusual at this time that he was not one of the Rome's cardinal priests. Let's look into some information about Pope Leo V. Little to anything is known about who this Pope was or what he did in his short time in office as Leo was among the shortest of serving Popes in history at less than two months in the office. Auxilius, a writer of the time, says that he held the rudder of the Holy Roman Church for 30 days and that he was a man of God and a praiseworthy life and holiness. The only act of his brief two-month-long papacy that survives to today's time is that Pope Leo V issued a special papal bull and declared that the Bologna canons were exempted from the required taxes. Unfortunately, nothing more is known of his time in the papacy. After a pontificate of somewhat over a month, he was seized by Christopher, cardinal priest of St. Damascus, and cast into prison and placed himself on papal seat, but was soon after displaced by Sergius III. Pope Leo V died in one of the two ways according to several sources. He might have been murdered either by Christopher or his successor, Pope Sergius III, or died of natural causes. The burial site for Pope Leo V is disputed. He is interred either in the Basilica of St. Peter or on the grounds of the latter. That's all for today. Thank you all for listening. As always, please stay tuned to the next episode. Please like, share and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the Church, God bless you all.